And we're just going to take a few moments to bring the body, mind and breath into the practice. Just allowing the body to settle down, allow the breath to settle. And just relax for a few moments. So we've had a quite a busy day today. So he might actually be asleep in a moment or two <laughs> if I don't watch it. But just take a few moments just to take stock of where you are just right now. You might have had a busy day, you might have had a lazy day, maybe stressful, maybe blissful. But just acknowledging that day and then putting that day to one side and then bring in the, bring in the practice, the upcoming practice, yeah, to the forefront of your mind because that's what we're going to be doing in the next hour or so. I'll try and stick to an hour, but I'm not promising. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you're breathing out, allow the shoulders to drop down, the hips to settle, the legs to rest. Just take a few moments. So it's just going to be a nice gentle practice flowing through a few postures. Another couple of moments. And then on the next inhale, take um, the arms up behind you, bring the feet together, long stretch. And then as you breathe out, bring the arms up and over the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Oh, nice. And a nice little rock from side to side. And then coming to centre, keep the knees bent. Uh, hug the right knee in, drop the left foot to the floor. Inhale, extend that right leg up, interlace the hands behind your right hamstring. We're just going to move the foot a little bit. First we're going to inhale the toes up and then exhale, drop them down towards your forehead. And just do that a few times. As you breathe out, also think about dropping the hips down into the floor. Try not to lift your bottom as you lift your toes. Keep the bottom down. And then let that go and start making a big circle with your toes. Going around one way, doesn't matter which way you start. Drawing a big circle with your big toe, other toes follow around. And then go the other way. You can keep your eyes closed here, it's quite nice. Draw your attention inward, coming back to centre. Take an inhale as you exhale, bend the right knee, place the ankle across your left knee. Inhale, lift your left leg up, reach behind the hamstring, hold. Interlace your hands and hold it there. If that's too much for you, you can place the hands on top of that right leg, one sort of top of the foot, other one by the knee. Draw that leg towards you with your hands and just use the left knee to gently push it towards you. So see what feels more comfortable for you. Take an inhale as you exhale, drop that left foot down. Grab hold of your left foot with your left hand, uh, sorry, with your right foot with your left hand, drop the right knee down to the floor, extend that right knee to the front of the mat, and then sweep the right arm up and over, stretching the fingertips up behind you. The back of the hand is on the floor. If you want to, you could extend that left leg along the floor. So then you might get a little bit more stretch across the front of your right quad. And then inhale, let go. Bend the right knee, place the right foot on the floor. Inhale your left knee in towards the chest. Take an exhale. On the next inhale, stretch that left leg up to the sky, interlace the hands behind your left hamstring. And then moving those toes up and down. So inhale, toes go up, and exhale, toes drop down. You're moving that heel opposite. So toes lift, and the heel drops down, and the heel comes up, and the toes drop down. 
nice and slow with the breath. And then coming to centre, drawing big circles now with the big toe, going one way. And then going the other way. And coming to centre, take an inhale as you exhale, bend the left knee, place the ankle across your right knee. Inhale, right leg up towards you, either grab hold of um, the hamstring on your right side, or if you want to, bring the hands to the top of that left leg and just use your hands to bring that leg a little bit closer towards you. Take an inhale, as you exhale, drop that right foot down. Grab hold of your left foot underneath your right bottom with your right hand. Drop that left knee down, stretch it to the front of the mat. Inhale, take the left arm up and over, reaching the fingertips behind. Left knee to left toes, I mean left knee to left fingertips. Hold it there. If you want to extend that right leg along the floor, please do. See if that makes any difference to you. It might not feel any different. And inhale, let go of that foot, take both knees back into the chest. Keeping the knees nice and high, keep them tucked in towards your chest, taking both arms out shoulder height. I'm going to flow from side to side. Take an inhale, as you exhale, both knees over to the left. Just as they're going to touch down, you're going to inhale back to centre. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, centre, nice and slow with the breath. Breathing out. Use your core to keep the knees up nice and high. Inhale, centre. Exhale, right side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left side. Nice and slow. Inhale, centre. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, centre. Exhale, over to the left. And this time allow the knees to drop all the way down to the floor. You can place your left hand on top of that right knee if you want to. Keep the right shoulder planted. The right shoulder stays down in the ground. You can turn your head towards your right palm if you want to. Hold it there. And inhale, come back to centre, and we're going to exhale them straight over to the other side. Knees go all the way down. Place your right hand on top of your left knee, right shoulder, left shoulder down, sorry. Take the palm to the gaze of your left hand. Inhale, come back to centre. Take the knees towards your chest, hands behind the knee, little rock up to seated. Find a comfortable position. So if you're struggling with hips and sitting up nice and tall with the knees relaxed, use a block, pop it, under, pop it underneath you or a blanket, pillow. Sitting up nice and tall, long spine, chin parallel to the floor. You can rest the hands onto the knees, take the chin parallel to the floor, crown reaches up towards the sky. We're going to set our intention for the upcoming practice. So I'm not going to set an intention today for you guys. You can set your own today, actually, because um, it can be quite nice. See if you can think of something for yourself that might mean something to you. I set intentions sort of, you know, centered around how I'm feeling or what's going on with me and where I am, but that doesn't mean it's always the right thing for you guys so see if you can come up and choose your own intention sit with that for a moment and that 
let that intention go. And then let's spend a few moments focusing in a little bit more on that breath. We start in Shavasana with the breathing, but just taking a moment to focus in a little bit more on how that breath is flowing. Noticing the quality of that breath entering through the nose. And then allowing that breath to travel down, expand into the whole of the torso, your belly, your rib cage, your collarbones. And drawing that breath back out, up and out through the nose. And see if you can come back to that breathing throughout your practice. So the breath will change throughout the practice depending on what you're doing. But see if you can keep the, the quality of the breath, the, the easiness and the steady and a steady breath throughout your practice. Opening the eyes, I'm going to roll over onto all fours, shuffle back a little bit on your mat. If you're right at the front like me, coming into cat and cow. So hands underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers, press the palms down. So there's a firm grip, not grip, but you're pressing both hands down firmly into the mat. Knees are hip width apart, the toes are lengthening to the back of the mat. As you inhale, take your tailbone up, the belly drops down, lift your gaze. Exhale, round through your spine, drop the tailbone down, push into the hands, lift up. Inhale, come forward, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Exhale, head drops down, tailbone drops down. Inhale, lift up, belly drops down. Exhale, round through the spine, lift up, belly up towards your spine. High, high, high. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, round. Go with your breath and your time. Inhale, you lift up. Exhale, you round. You want to look for that tilting of the hips. Hips moving backwards and forwards. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale is actually extension might not feel like that, and then the exhale, you're flexing, rounding. And do another couple, inhale, lift, exhale, round. Okay, on the next inhale, come to neutral spine, we're going to come into Balasana, we're going to take it wide. Take the knees to the edges of the mat, bring the toes together, take an inhale as you exhale, sit back to your heels and then slowly allow the upper body to drop down into the mat. You can use a block for your head or if you want to stack one forearm on top of the other, you can. Or if it feels comfortable, stretch the arms out in front, reach into your fingertips and then rest the upper body down towards the ground. It's a very similar posture to Shavasana, even though you're the other way around, but it is about, it's about resting. It's a restorative pose. You're resting in this pose. Just gives you a, ch a chance to reset <clears throat> for the next bit, let go of the last bit. No tension. On the next inhale, come back up onto all fours. Bring the knees back underneath your hips. Take an inhale, right fingertips sweep up. Exhale, you're going to reach underneath, place the right shoulder down and the right cheek onto the floor. If you need to use a block to support the shoulder, please do. So you can see Andy is, do you want me to bring it back a bit? Andy is using a block to support his shoulder because it's a little bit too far to get down there. Do the same or pillow, just anything just to prop underneath it. If you want to take that left arm up and around your waist to open that left shoulder and lift it a bit higher, then please do. If not, keep the left hand planted to the mat and use that as a support.
If that top arm is wrapped around your waist, take it back down to the mat. Inhale, press up onto all fours. It's just a little reset here. Give yourself a little wiggle. And then inhale, left fingertips up. Exhale, reach them underneath. Place the left shoulder down, left cheek. And then hold it there. If you want to, you can place that right hand, leave the right hand on the mat. Or take it all the way around the back of your waist. If your arm is wrapped around your waist, place it back to the floor. Inhale, lift up onto all fours. Nice and easy. Step forward on the inhale with your right foot, coming into a low lunge. A little bit of a movement with the arms and the breath. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure the foot is forward enough so that the ankle is on top of the, so the knee is on top of the ankle, not in front of the ankle. And you have a little bit of a stretch through that left hip flexor. Inhale, lift into a low lunge. Exhale, bring the arms down, shoulder height in front of you. Inhale, open, stretch across the front of the chest. Exhale, centre. Inhale, open, nice and wide. Exhale, back to centre. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, centre. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, down to the floor. Inhale, take it through to runner's lunge. Lengthen through that right leg, lift the right toes, hold it there. <coughs> If you can't feel any stretch there at all, keep lengthening the hips to the back of the heel. So lengthen, keeping the heel planted at the front. Gaze to your big toe. Inhale, come forward. Hands either side of that front foot. Inhale, right toes up, up right fingertips up. Exhale, lower. Sweeping it up on the inhale, reach into your fingertips. Exhale, back to the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach up, hold it there. If you want a little bit more effort here, you can tuck the back toes, lift that back knee off the floor, but you don't have to, you can stay with the knee lowered. Take an inhale, as you exhale, sweep the hand back down. Inhale, right knee back underneath you. Exhale, step forward with the left foot. Take an inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, lower the arms in front, shoulder height. Inhale, stretch across. Exhale, centre. Inhale, reach. Exhale, centre. Inhale, reach across. Exhale, centre. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, lengthen through that left leg, runner's lunge, lift the toes up at the front. Hold it there. Gaze to your big toe. Inhale, come forward, tucking the back toes under if you haven't, lift that knee, step it forward to the front of the mat. Oh no, I've, I've, sorry, I'm take it back. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. Sorry guys. I remember. <laughs> you did. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> Inhale, left fingertips reach up. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. On the next inhale, you're going to lift and hold. Stay there, reaching into your fingertips. If it's too much, drop the arm behind and keep lifting that left shoulder up, bringing the right shoulder underneath. And then if you want to, tuck the toes, lift the back knee off. You can do that as well. Take an inhale, as you exhale, drop the hand back down. On the next inhale now, tuck the toes, lift the knee, step it forward to the front of the mat. 
coming up halfway, look up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, lift it up to the sky, use your core to lift, exhale, Tadasana, drop the arms to the side, fingertips drop down. Coming into Sun Salute A, bring the feet together, we're just turning the legs off, apologies. Standing nice and tall, chin parallel to the floor, allow the shoulders to relax, fingertips drop down, draw your belly button back to your spine. And you want to draw that tailbone underneath us a little bit as well, drop it down towards the ground. Inhale, lift the hands, lift your gaze, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up halfway, exhale, step it back, right foot, left foot, plank. You can lower knees, hips and chest, or in a plank position. Inhale, cobra, lift your heart up, exhale, downward dog, hold it there. Walking the dog from side to side, stretch, um, extend one leg and bend the opposite knee and then switch it around. And then keep going from side to side, keeping the hips nice and high, pressing firmly down into both hands. And then coming to centre, one breath here. Next inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, right foot, left foot, come up halfway, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, drop it back down, long spine, head drops down. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, step back, left foot, right foot. Either in a plank lower, but as the elbows go back, or knees, hips and chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down the dog. Hold it, push nice and firmly down into your hands, keep shifting the weight back. You can have a bend in your knees if you need to. On the next inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, left foot, right foot, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, forward, long spine. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, step it back, right foot, left foot, plank, lowering down to the floor, use your core. Inhale, lift it up into cobra, exhale, take it back and up, downward dog. Toes come under, hips lift, hold. Next inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, right foot, left foot, come up halfway. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the side, Tadasana. Inhale into chair, Sun Salute B, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step it back, left foot, right foot, lowering down into a plank, all the way down to the ground. Inhale, lift your heart into cobra, exhale, downward dog. Tuck the toes, lift the seat up and back. Inhale, right toes sweep up, exhale, big step forward. Make sure you come to the front of the mat. Inhale, high lunge, exhale, bend into that front knee, soften that back heel down. Inhale, fingertips up, exhale, step it back to plank. Nice and slow, steady. Inhale, lift into cobra, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left toes up, exhale, big step forward. Inhale, nice and steady, keep your balance. Exhale, lower, inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, step it back to plank. That's one breath out. Inhale, lift your heart up, exhale, take it back down with dog. Hold it there. Come back to your breath. Make it an easy breath in through the nose and then maybe a big breath out through the mouth if you need to. It can be quite nice. If you need to come to child's pose, then you know where to go. On the next inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, left foot, right foot, come up halfway, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, into chair, bend into the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, chair, lift the arms, bend into the knees. Exhale, fold forward, long spine. Inhale, up halfway. 
Exhale, step it back, right foot, left foot, plank, slowly lower down. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right toes up, exhale, big step forward. Inhale, slow and steady as you lift, keep the balance. Exhale, lower. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, step it back to plank. Elbows track backwards. Inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left toes reach up. Exhale, big step forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, lower. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, step it back to plank. Nice and easy. Inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale, downward dog, hold it there. Come back to your breath. Lengthen through your spine, lift the hips up high. Then soften the heels down. And on the next inhale, soften the knees, lift again, step it forward, right foot, left foot. Come up halfway, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair, bend into the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, Tadasana. Well done, take a breath. Come back to your breath, nice deep breath in. Long, you okay? Long breath out. <laughs> step it back with your right foot, going to come into warrior two, so nice wide stance. Heel of the back foot and heel of the front foot is in line with the arch of the back foot. Both legs straight to start with. Inhale, both arms up, shoulder height, palms down. Exhale, bend into that front knee. Hold it there. So if you now find that the knee is really far in front of the ankle, walk that front foot forward until you've got a nice comfortable bend with the ankle directly underneath the knee. Back leg is straight, switched on. Lift the inner arch of that back foot. Gaze over the middle finger of your front hand. Take an inhale. As you exhale, forearm to your thigh. Sweep the right fingertips up and over. Reach to the front. Lift and rotate the heart up towards the ceiling. Lift your gaze. Take an inhale, as you exhale, look down. Inhale, come all the way up, straighten through that front leg, arm shoulder height. So you may want to just step the back foot in a little bit, coming into Trikonasana. You might want a little bit of a shorter stance. Inhale, reach forward, hips back. Exhale, hands to the shin, right fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Same action as before, lift and rotate the rib cage up towards the sky. Lift your gaze, hold it there. Take an inhale, as you exhale, take the gaze down to your big toe. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, step it to the front of the mat, hands to heart centre, take a breath here. Take an inhale, step it back with your left foot, warrior two, other side, nice wide stance. Both arms up, shoulder height, straighten through both legs to start with. Take an inhale, then as you exhale, bend into that front knee. So move on and adjust the front foot if you need to. Relax the shoulders, gaze over the middle finger of your front hand. Take an inhale, as you exhale, forearm to your front thigh. Left arm sweeps up and over, fingertips reach to the front, palm facing down. That's it. Shoulders, uh, the top shoulder, draw it away from the top here. So you're not bunched up, but you're reaching the shoulder away. Fingertips the other way. Lift and rotate the ribcage up. Lift your gaze.
take an inhale, as you exhale, take your gaze down. Inhale, come all the way up straight into that front leg. Exhale, and on the next inhale, reach forward, hips back, exhale, hands to the front shin, left fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. If you need to adjust, drop it behind. Lift and rotate, heart up towards the sky, lift your gaze. Take an inhale. As you exhale, gaze down to your big toe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step into the front of the mat. Back to Tadasana, bring the heart, hands to heart centre. Take a breath. Inhale, step it out with the right foot. Nice right stance, toes in, heels out. Hands to the hips. Take an inhale as you exhale. Fold forward, drop the fingertips down. Inhale, lift onto the fingertips, look up, and then as you exhale, upper body drops down, spine lengthens, head nice and heavy. Bring in the palms to the mat if you can. Hello, Bert. <laughs> you doing a bit of yoga? Keep walking the hands back to in between the feet if you can, lining the heels of the hands up with the heels of your feet. If you can't, that's fine. You can keep the fingertips or in the, the palms further in front. That's what you're working towards, walking the hands back. Allow the head to be heavy, allow it to drop down. No effort for the upper body. Allow the spine to hang nice and long down towards the earth. Inhale onto your fingertips. Exhale the hands to the waist. Inhale, lift up. Take an exhale. Breathing in, then as you breathe out, fold forward, keeping the hands on the hips this time. And now the, the spine to lengthen, head drops down nice and heavy. Hold it there. Next, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, reach the hands behind, interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back and down. Prasavita C. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward, bringing the arms up and over. Drop the head down, long spine. Hold it there. Each time you breathe out, see if you can just allow the arms to come over a little bit further. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release the hands back to the waist. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Prasavita D, last one. Grab hold of the big toes if you can. If not, drop the hands back in front. If you can grab the big toes, the first two fingers to the inside, thumb to the outside, elbows come out to the side. Take an inhale, look up, and then as you exhale, upper body drops down, same as before, long spine, heavy head, hold it there. Next, inhale, come onto your fingertips. Exhale, the hands to the waist. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, come to the front of the mat. Just take an inhale, nice long breath out. On the next inhale, step it back with the right foot. We're gonna come into warrior one. Keeping the hips forward, make sure the stance is short enough for the back foot to stay grounded onto the mat, so you don't want that back heel lifting. Inhale, take an exhale, bend into that front knee. Adjust the feet if you need to. Inhale, lift the hands, and place the hands first, finger draws up. Lift your gaze, hold it there.
Take an inhale as you exhale, drop the hands to the waist, straighten through that front leg. Reach the arms behind, grab opposite elbows. Breathing in, lift up, breathing out, fold forward. Heart melts down towards your knee or your thigh. Take your gaze to your big toe. Draw your right hip forward, left hip back. And then each time you breathe out, melt into that space in front of you. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, release the hands to the waist. Inhale, sweep your right knee forward, bring it into the chest. We're going to come into tree, lift it up. So find your balance, steady gaze, steady breath. Draw your belly button back to your spine to activate your core. Standing leg, nice and strong. Take an inhale as you exhale, knee out to the side and then place the sole of the foot towards the top or the calf or drop the foot down to the floor and then rest your heel against your calf. Hands to Namaste, hold it there. Take an inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, reach them out all the way down. Inhale, collect your knee. Bring it back to the chest. Exhale, Tadasana. Feet together, standing nice and tall. Inhale, step back with the left foot. Warrior one, other side. So if you're wobbling a bit, just walk the right foot out to the right a little bit. Both legs straight. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into that front knee. Inhale, lift the hands, interlace the fingers. First finger draws up, lift your gaze. Hold it there. So if you find that the back heel is lifting, make the um, distance between your front and back foot shorter. If you feel that like you've got a bit more give, then you might find that you can widen the stance a little bit. Take an inhale as you exhale, drop the hands to the waist. Straighten through both legs, reach the arms behind, grip opposite elbows, but switch the grip around. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Upper body drops down, gaze to your big toe. Draw your right hip back, left hip forward. And then inhale, lift it up. Exhale, let go of the hands, hands to waist. Inhale, sweep your left knee through, collect it up in towards your chest, hold it there, find your balance. Fix your gaze, steady breath. Inhale, as you exhale, take the knee out to the left, place the sole of that foot either towards the top, the calf, or drop the foot down to the floor and lean your heel against your calf. Hands to Namaste, hold it there. Take an inhale, lift the hands, exhale, sweep them out, down, down, inhale, collect the knee, back towards your chest, exhale, back to Tadasana, well done, feet together, standing nice and tall, Tadasana, inhale, lift the hands up, lift your gaze, exhale, fold forward, long spine, drop the head down, inhale, up halfway, exhale, step it back, right foot, left foot, plank, hold it there. Take an inhale, then as you exhale, drop the knees down, roll it all the way down onto your front. Inhale, slide the arms out in front, elbows come underneath your shoulders, front of the hands, pressing down into the mat. So you may want to shuffle back a little bit on your mat if you need to. Hips down, lifting through the elbows, lift your heart up, look forward. 
back bend, just a small, easy, nice back bend. Lift your heart up. So you're trying to lift through the elbows. Don't sag. Lift the chest, lift your gaze. Hips stay down. Take an inhale, as you exhale, slowly roll down, coming into crocodile. Take one forearm on, to, on top of the other, rest your forehead, relax down. Another nice restorative pose, same as child's pose and shavasana. Think about, there's nothing really to do physically, this is really just a, a little bit of time out to reset, recoup, come back to yourself, come back to your breath. So there should be no effort in this pose at all. Relax the shoulders. And a nice thing to focus on here is the breath. Seeing if you can draw that breath into your belly, noticing that breath flowing slightly differently because the belly has got the hard floor underneath it, the breath has to go and find other areas to fill. Maybe just see if you can notice that at all in your body. Take an inhale, lift your gaze. Stretch the arms behind you with the back of the hands on the floor so the palms are facing up. Take an inhale, we're going to lift the legs, stretch your toes away behind you, lift the shoulders, look forward, hold it there. Keep breathing, make sure that breath still goes all the way down. Take an inhale, as you exhale, slowly roll down. Take the hand un hands underneath the shoulder, press it up onto all fours. Slowly rolling, rolling it through the back, take it to child's pose. So either knees wide, toes together, or if you want to, you can come into a normal child's pose with the knees together, upper body dropping down in front of you. And you can have the arms stretched out in front or you can take them alongside the body with the palms facing up. See, child's pose has got a few different variations. There's a post coming on it soon. Um, just try them, try the different ones. We're all built a little bit differently. So for some of us, it can feel really nice to have the knees wide. So you've got that space in front of you to come into. For some of you, it might feel really nice to have the knees together and the arms tracking backwards. Then you can release the shoulders. Just see. Always experiment and, and work out what works for your body. Inhale back up onto all fours. Going to come into pigeon. Take your right chin forward, take that foot over to the left and then just walk the hands forward a little bit so you can shift the weight forward so the left toes can be tucked and the left knee is lifted and then slide that left knee, sorry that left leg all the way down towards the bottom of the mat and then drop that left knee, extend the toes. Inhale lift. As you exhale walk the hands out in front if it's too far to get all the way down, stack one forearm on top of the other, rest your forehead, or use a block, that's also good. Hold it there.
Inhale, lift your gaze, come back up onto your hands, maybe move them a little bit back towards you. Take your right knee back underneath you, take an inhale and then take your left knee forward, left chin to the floor, that foot a little bit over to the side. So depending on how flexible you are with your hips, that leg will be in different positions. Take the hands forward, shift the weight forward as you tuck the right toes, lift the knee, slide that right leg back and then drop it back down, lengthen. Take an inhale and as you exhale, walk the hands back out in front. Upper body drops down, forehead rests. Either on your forearms, on a block or all the way down to the mat. So I want you to think about the hips staying parallel to the front of the mat. So not collapsing down to the left or to the right. So you need to adjust that shin, the left shin, the leg with the bent knee. So you need to adjust it so that you can stay level with your hips. Take an inhale, walk the hands back towards you. Draw that left knee back underneath your hip. Sit back to your heels. And then swing the legs around to the front, out. Stretch both legs out in front of you. Left leg extends, right knee bends. Sole of that foot comes towards the top left thigh. Take an inhale, as you exhale, melt forward. Don't um, pull or push, just allow gravity, the upper body's gravity to draw you down. Take your gaze to your big toe, so you're extending through the spine, not rounding, extend, then soften down. Relax your right knee. And then inhale, lift and switch it around. Exhale, extend the right leg, bend the left knee, place the sole of that foot towards the top thigh. Inhale, exhale, as you turn towards the extended leg, soften forward. Soften, not reaching and pulling, just gently. Relax the left knee, gaze to your big toe. Inhale, lift up, take both knees back together, slowly roll it down onto your back. We're going to come into a supine twist. Just take both knees into the chest, give yourself a little rock actually from side to side. We're just spinning a forward bend so it can be quite nice to release the back if there's any tension. And then come into centre, keep the right knee squeezed into your chest, extend that left leg away. Right arm out, shoulder height, palm up. Take an inhale as you exhale, drop that knee over to your left. Keep the right shoulder down. And then turn your head, look into the palm of your right hand. Go with your breath. Inhale, come back to centre. We're going to switch it around. Left knee in, right leg extends, left arm out, shoulder height, palms up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, knee comes over to your right. Keep the left shoulder down. Turn the gaze to the palm of your left hand. Inhale, come 
come back to centre. We just drop both feet to the floor, keep the knees bent, just take the knees into each other, drop them towards each other and then the feet to the edges of the mat. Just a couple of breaths here, we're not going to stay here. We're going to come into shoulder stand, so some of you will have a shoulder stand in your practice and you know what you're doing. If you're quite new to shoulder stand and you have a block or a pillow, then you can use that. So please be careful. The thing to note in shoulder stand, try not to turn your neck once you're in a shoulder stand. Don't look left and right, so keep your gaze up um, and in front of you. Um, let's see if we have a go. Another a nice alternative, if you haven't got a block, is if you have a wall or um, a sofa, you can just pop your legs either straight along the wall, shuffle your bum right up to the edge of the wall, and then lift the legs up, let them rest, or just pop them onto a chair or a sofa. Okay, if you're using a block underneath you, pop it underneath your hips and you're going to inhale, extend both legs up to the sky and you're going to stay there. If you have a full shoulder stand, you're going to slowly, arms alongside the body, palms facing down, engage your core, take the knees up towards your chest and then lift them up towards your forehead, place your hands on your lower back and then start walking the hands up your back. Bringing the elbows in towards each other. Extend both legs up to the sky. Hold it there. Either close the eyes or take a gaze, take the gaze to your big toes. I'm going to stay here for about a minute. But if it feels uncomfortable or you want to come out a little bit sooner, then please do. Okay, so those of you that have a block underneath you, bend the knees, place the feet down and remove the block. Everybody else that's in a full shoulder stand, slowly bend the knees towards your forehead. Then extend both arms out, back to the floor, palms down, slowly roll it down. Until your hips are back on the mat, feet drop to the floor, keep the knees bent. Taking the knees from one side to the other then like windscreen wipers, just nice and easy, nice and slow. Coming back to centre, take the knees into the chest, hands behind the knees, little rock, back up to seated. Okay. Sitting nice and tall, find a comfortable position, sit cross-legged, all legs out in front. Pop the block underneath you if you need to. Extending both arms out in front, the back of the forearms rest on your knees. You can connect your forefinger to thumb into chin mudra. Sit up tall and chin parallel to the floor. Close the eyes. So before we come into Shavasana and relaxation, we're just going to come back to our intention first that we set right at the beginning. Bring that back to your for the forefront of your mind. Ponder over that intention. Did you come back to your intention throughout the practice? And if you did, did it help or did it highlight anything in particular? Just take note, I'm not judging it in any way, never judge it. Just acknowledge it. 
let that intention go. We're just going to spend a couple of moments with our breath. So you can let that mindful breathing go. Just an easy breath flowing in and out through the nose. Sit with that breath, allow it to just settle down. Follow that breath as you're breathing in through the nose. Follow that breath down to your belly. As you're breathing out, follow it all the way back, up and out through the nose. If you get distracted, escort that mind back to your breath. that breath go, keeping the eyes closed and with this really little disturbance, make your way down to Shavasana, nice and slowly, roll down onto your back, stretch the legs out in front, if you want to lengthen to the back of the neck, take the hands, interlace the fingers, put them underneath your neck, the base of your skull and slide the hands up and then drop the head back down. So you're feeling a bit more length through the neck. And then we extend the arms out to the side with the palms facing up, just a little bit away from the body. Lifting the left foot up, stretch that heel away, and then drop it back down. Same with the right foot, lift, extend the heel, and then drop it back down with the exhale. Letting go of everything now, the practice, the breath, the intention, this is a pose, pose of just resting, nothing to do, no tension, no effort, you just are. your thoughts drift just overhead. Imagine they're like a stream or river floating along on the waves downstream to wash out into the big wide ocean. Relaxing a little bit more into your body. Feeling that tension ebb out. Ebb out through the fingertips, the toes.
letting the body rest. We're going to make our way slowly out of the Shavasana, just nice and gently by wiggling the toes and the fingers, deepening the breath, just like a wake up call in the morning, taking an inhale through the nose and then a big breath out, inhale through the nose, big breath out through the mouth. And again, one more time, inhale, big breath out. On the next inhale, sweep the arms up behind you, bring the feet together, long stretch. And then as you breathe out, sweep the arms up and over, knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. A little rock from side to side. And then without opening the eyes, keeping them closed and the knees tucked, roll it all the way over to the right side. Drop the knees down to the floor, relax the legs, savouring those last few moments. Placing that left hand to the floor, press yourself back up to seat it. Nice and slowly, there's no rush. Find a comfortable position. Legs crossed or out in front of you, bringing the hands together, palms meet. Maybe feeling the warmth of those palms. Pressing the thumbs back to your chest. Closing the practice with one round of OM. Deep breath in. Oh. Wishing you peace in your thoughts, your words, your actions, your heart. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for your practice.